Christy, I'm gonna ask you. Are you feeling stressed out right now? I definitely am. What, what is stressing you out as we speak? As we speak, I'm thinking of all the emails, all, uh, all the voicemails I'm gonna have on my phone. Uh, <laughs> just work-wise, I, I know my phone's blowing up. I'm, I'm happy it's not on me right now. We sent you for this test because it can help give you an indication if your cortisol levels are too high or you're too stressed, right, Mark? Exactly. I mean, this test is really easy to use. Basically, what a patient has to do is just collect four saliva samples throughout the day. And we did this test just to see where your cortisol levels were at, to see if you are elevated at certain times in the day. And what did we find, Mark? When we looked at your morning and your noon sample, we found that your levels were uh, high normal. They were a little bit higher than they should be. But when we reached that dinner level, right when you're coming home from work and, and being a mom and dealing with the kids and dealing with all the things that you've dealt with at, at work that day, we found that your level in the, ev in the evening was 50% higher than what we would, we would expect it to be. And when you have those high levels of cortisol, what that's going to do is that's going to cause you to retain some of that visceral fat. It's going to make weight difficult to lose, and you're going to find that you're going to crave sugar. You're going to crave caffeine to help you with, with all the fatigue that you're having. So what are things you can do at home? Take breaks throughout the day. Even if it's just two to three times a day, 10-minute walks. Even just looking outside, taking a brief moment to look outside, and breaking that that cycle of stress is probably one of the most essential things you can do. And you can do it no matter where you're at. And I'm gonna have everyone do it right now. Deep breathing, even if it's just for 10 seconds. So I want everyone to take three nice, long, deep, slow breaths, including you. How are you doing now? Feel a little less stressed? I'm doing better. But Christy, thank you. You're not alone. Thanks for sharing your story.